Bitcoin is not looking good. We anticipate a correction and it looks like it has just begun. It's probably going to last for a number of weeks. So today we're going to dive into a bit more detail on what you should anticipate into March and also into April as well. So if you like today's video, like, subscribe, hit the bell notification. We always want to keep a nice close eye on Bitcoin because it does give us a nice feel for the rest of the market. So let's dive straight in. Today we're going to focus on a weekly chart with Bitcoin. And there's really two to three things that we want to focus on. Firstly, we said this before, but the weekly momentum, when this blue line goes below the red line, it marries up quite nicely with these highs over here. And this was one of the big clues that we were likely going to get a top sometime in this area over here because of this momentum indicator. Because the trend is your friend, ride it until its end, until it reaches its bend. And a momentum indicator, I use the stochastics RSI, it can be really, really powerful. Also, we've had a down week, a big down week, which also has closed below this swing low as well, which also gives us another indication that this high has been made. What we're also going to do next is going to go in some time cycles, because if you can understand that the market's moving rhythms and cycles, then all of a sudden, if you can have a confluence of events, all of a sudden you have three or four things telling you the same thing. Now, before I go into the time cycles, I just want to let you know, I now have created a free membership for a weekly Bitcoin report. It's a video this week I'll be doing over the weekend, a detailed report, breaking down Bitcoin, what to anticipate, where to buy, where to sell, where to hold, and what to really, really expect as well. So download it, it's free. You'll get into my membership area and we update it literally every single week, at least once a week. But sometimes when there's relevant information, then we might do it sooner. So what I want to finish on today is really two things. One is anticipate Bitcoin is likely, not guaranteed, but likely to get into this zone down here in both time and price. So we're talking about 10th of April to maybe even the beginning of May and getting down towards anything from even as low as $12,000, maybe even $10,000. So we just want to be on high alert. What's one of the other things that we can look at in a logical, mechanical manner that says, is this top going to hold this weekly top over here? And we're going to see a continuation to the downside. And any movements to the upside are probably just going to be corrections. In other words, markets tend to move down, do a bit of a correction, move down, move a bit of a correction, move down, etc. So we want to be aware of that as well. Now, what I'm going to show you here, something called Fibonacci time or time cycles. We're going to look at this high, this high, and this high, which helps us project this high. So we're going to do something called a high to high measurement. We're going to measure this time distance and then project it forward. And what you'll find is if I just do this, I'm going to measure this high to high and then project it forward. It's the week before the top. Last week was the top, is the week before the top. And let's just do the same for over here. We're going to measure this high to this high. So we're going to measure it and then we're going to project it from over here and push it forward. And what it's going to do for us is it's going to give us the likely time cycle. There's a few of these that you want to be doing. And here you can see it marries up bang on with this point over here. So now all of a sudden we've got what's called a running ABC correction. We got a weekly momentum bearish reversal. We're at a time cycle. We can see these two lines that tell us we're due a top. So what should you anticipate? Well, until this red line goes below this black line over here, we should anticipate sideways to down. So only considering short positions for Bitcoin. And there's a good probability that we're going to see this low exceeded over the coming weeks. So we're talking about towards the tail end of March, early April, and maybe even the tail end of April, early May. And again, we'll just go with the trend. The trend is your friend, ride it until its end, until it reaches its bend. The former trend has been down and it's likely we're going to see a continuation to the downside with Bitcoin, which will impact the rest of the crypto markets. Anything that's pumped 5x, 10x, the very low caps, you're probably going to see some big profit taking over the coming weeks more than likely. So just be very aware of that as well. So if you want to keep up to date with my Bitcoin report, it's free. Click the link below, fill in the details. And every week as a minimum, I'll be doing an update with Bitcoin 
because it just allows us to stay on top of the market and what we should be doing. Now remember, to trade successfully, you need to be the casino. And how does the casino win? It just has the edge in its favor. And right now, what we've identified today is the edge is to the downside. Weekly top based on pattern, time, and momentum. There are some price factors that we didn't consider today as well. So I'm going to finish with a quote today from my book. And it's from chapter three. And it's Confucius. It does not matter how slowly you go as long as you do not stop. Everything in life is difficult before it's easy. So what I've also included, by the way, in the free Bitcoin membership area is some basic training on Elite Wave and Fibonacci price just so you can get the most amount from the reports itself because we're due to make a lot of money over the coming year, two years, especially before the next bull run, probably in 2025, that's going to occur. But the immediate price action, we can short the market, we can be locking in profits, and we can be patient for long in the market as well.